today's topic is really going to uh, blow your mind. You know, suppose you are in the middle of nowhere. There is no Wi-Fi, um, no cell network, uh, but you still can send instructions uh, to your, um, I don't know, washing machine to start washing your clothes a uh, continent away. Um, what? Well, yes, um, you can uh, theoretically also um, send a message for the bomb to explode somewhere, but let's, uh, let's stay positive. Let's, uh, let's uh, give some positive examples of this technology. But anyway, imagine, if you will, a world um, crisscrossed by invisible spaghetti or rice noodles of data slurping through the air, twirling silently between cornfields, lampposts, mountains, and through a crowd at a Taylor Swift concert. Today, we are decoding how forests talk, lights gossip, and why your smart toaster may be secretly smarter than your Uncle Dave. Welcome to Knowing is Wedding. But uh, this isn't a pasta-induced fever dream, though. <laughs> this is the dazzling magic of LoRaWAN, which, brace yourselves, stands for Long Range Wide Area Network. Yes, it is a mouthful, but what, <laughs> what a glorious gob of gobbledygook it is. With a name that sounds like it should belong to a medieval sorcerer, like I know LoRaWAN, the, uh, the all-knowing, um, this technology quietly powers some of the smartest stuff happening on Earth without demanding applause or, amazingly enough, without a stable Wi-Fi connection. Um, think of it as the secret messenger pigeon of the digital age, delivering crucial information through ether while consuming barely enough energy to power an LED bulb for the entire night. Um, it is like something straight out of a science fiction novel where futuristic networks govern entire societies and rebellious hackers break into mainframes using thought-controlled interfaces. However, the reality is slightly less dramatic, but only slightly, as uh, LoRaWAN's mission is far nobler, uh, making sure sensors can quietly and efficiently chat with the mothership over the vast distances without draining batteries faster than your smartphone in a social media doom scroll mode. Well, unlike those uh, drama-prone, uh, energy-guzzling cell systems, LoRaWAN is the low-power ninja of the uh, connectivity world. Now, imagine a coin-based battery that lasts longer than your last relationship. Um, but it powers a sensor out in the wilderness that sends messages across fields, forests, and even across the wasteland of the Paris suburbs. This sorcery is made possible by spread spectrum modulation, basically whispering so cleverly that even in a screaming crowd, someone halfway across the town hears it. It's like having a megaphone that works best when you don't yell. Enter spread spectrum modulation, the art of making tiny signals resistant to interference so that even amid the digital noise of modern civilization, LoRaWAN's messages still travel with the determination of a carrier pigeon on a mission. No, it won't stream your favorite sitcom or provide lifelike gaming experience in VR. Instead, it works in whisper mode. Temperature readings, humidity levels, movement alerts, all communicated with the elegance of a poet reciting just a single profound line every few hours. You like my cup? Thank you. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> uh, there is more. Uh, Laura One is not lonely. Uh, it's not a lonely warrior, actually. It's good friends. Um, Sick Fogs, NBIOT, and Ambient Backscatter, all sipping espresso 
in the LPWA, which is Low Power Wide Area Cafe, a fellowship of technologies committed to minimal power consumption while delivering data over massive distances. Um, let's start with uh, Zigfox, the uh, monk of the network world. If uh, Laura Wan is the outspoken philosopher, Sigfox is the haiku poet. It communicates using ultra narrow band signals, basically um, minimalist uh, data sonnets. Um, think of it as like sending a postcard, uh, which says like, uh, hi, water low, please fix, love, sensor. In, um, in rural zones where energy is precious and Wi-Fi is but a myth, Zigfox steps in with the old frugality of my grandmother who reuses tea bags. It is perfect for industrial zones and farms where every electron counts and where, let's be honest, even raccoons have started their own secret society. Zigfox um, has mastered the art of simplicity, basically. And sending only the most necessary data in ultra narrow band transmissions. It's, um, it's like the Morse code of the modern connectivity. And in an era where energy conservation is golden, it's no wonder industrial giants and city planners are rolling it faster, rolling out faster than you can say low bandwidth efficiency. But Sigfox is not only the only one. There, um, then there is um, NB-IoT, the um, cellular cousin. It takes the existing phone network, yes, the one you used to have a lovely chat with uh, customer service once in a while, and uh, uses its leftover real estate to send small, delicate packets of data. If Rowan is whispering across fields, NBIOT is riding a unicycle down the shoulder of a highway full of 18 wheelers. It's not about speed or size, it's about consistency and grace under pressure. It makes streetlights smarter, water meters wiser, and maintenance crews more psychic than ever before. You know, smart meters, uh, water leak uh, detectors, um, uh, air pollution monitors, uh, this technology enables them all, making sure cities stay smart without needing a power source as extravagant as the one required to keep the uh, Wi-Fi running in your house. For urban planners, NB-IoT is the unsung hero that keeps cities connected without burning the power grid. But wait. Uh, the future gets even wilder. Ever heard of ambient backscatter communication? Wait, you will hear. Now, that's pretty amazing. It's, <laughs> it's basically the uh, sci-fi version of uh, free energy, a technology so fascinating that it borders on sorcery. These devices don't even need batteries. Let me repeat that. They don't need batteries. They harvest energy from stray radio waves in the environment, pulling power straight out of the air like a wizard drawing strength from um, stars. Imagine sensors nestled deep in a dense forest, never needing battery swaps because they simply sip energy from the invisible soup of radio frequencies surrounding us. If this sounds too fantastical, just know that researchers are actively making this a reality. Soon, battery-free devices might silently monitor climate conditions, traffic movements, or even your fridge's temperature, all without ever needing to be plugged in. That's groundbreaking, amazing. Meanwhile, mesh networks are making sure signals can travel in the most resilient way possible. Instead of relying on a single tower or gateway, these networks were like gossip circles. Each node listening, remembers, um, and passes along 
the message to the um, next unit until it reaches the intended recipient. And just like gossip, even if one source goes silent, the message will still spread. This level of redundancy ensures uninterrupted connectivity, even in extreme conditions where conventional networks might falter. Picture sensors deep in a rainforest, linked together in an indestructible web of communication, gathering climate data and ensuring the outside world remains informed without requiring satellites or dedicated towers. The real-world application of these technologies paint an amusing and um, actually compelling picture. Let's zoom in on a farm in the Netherlands, where Laura One has officially become the farmer's new best friend. These farms are blanketed in sensors that wake up at dawn, rub the dew from their circuits, and immediately begin reporting soil moisture, nutrient levels, and mysterious gopher movements. The data travels elegantly across pastures and irrigation ditches to a central hub where a computer, probably uh, named something adorable like Agribot 9000, <laughs> translates the raw numbers into crop growing wizardry. Result, less water wasted, more veggies grown, and a community of happy, techno-savvy farmers who actually know and, and, know and, and speak fluent sensor. Uh, but it's not just farms. In uh, industrial zones, LoRaWAN and its pilots are like digital security guards. Sensors embedded in oil pipelines, electrical grids, and bridges monitor vibrations, pressures, and weird anomalies. They send alerts before things go boom. These alerts are so subtle they make Sherlock Holmes proud. A pipe twitches, the system knows. A bridge wobbles, it's logged. A ferret sneaks into a transformer box. Yeah, we are working on that one as well. Well, maintenance crews are now able to preemptively fix minor faults long before they become full-blown calamities. In short, technology is not just making our lives easier, it's actively preventing expensive headaches. But, believe it or not, there is more. If Eaton Hunt ever needed to track a rogue agent through the Swiss Alps without blowing up a satellite, or draining half of the CIA's budget, he would probably whisper into his comms, activate LoRaWAN. Why? Because LoRaWAN is the perfect spy tech. Ultra low power, crazy long range, and sneaky enough to make even James Bond's gadget guy jealous. Imagine now, sensors hidden in wine corks, trash bins, or I don't know, goats or sheep quietly transmitting critical data across mountain tunnels and enemy fortresses, all while sipping less energy than a Fitbit in a sleep mode. Let's be honest, the real impossible mission would be finding Eaton Hunt without it. The beauty of LPWA networks is their elegant simplicity. They don't seek to overwhelm the airwaves with endless streams of data but instead embrace a philosophy of precision, sending only what is necessary, ensuring that every byte serves a purpose. One startup founder aptly put it um, that in a world drowning in data, true genius is knowing when to whisper instead of shout. Whether it's a wildlife tracker monitoring, an endangered species, or a sensor ensuring hospital equipment stays functional, uh, these technologies are proving that small, timely pieces of data can be more powerful than massive torrents of information. And then there is the grand ecological impact. Cities are evolving into self-aware organisms where smart sensors 
optimize everything from street lighting to waste collection. Why send garbage trucks on inefficient collection routes where bins can report their fill levels in real time? Why waste power keeping street lights at full brightness when ambient light sensors can adjust them dynamically? The energy sa savings of all of this are enormous. And as urban environments continue to embrace these silent tech companions, cities will grow cleaner, greener, and primarily smarter. Behind the success of LoRaWAN, ZigFox, NB-IoT, and Backscatter Communication is an international alliance of engineers, visionaries, and policymakers who understand the importance of connectivity in a sustainable world. It is called a, uh, the LoRa Alliance. No capes, just engineers and visionaries who believe in open standards and smarter solutions. Their goal isn't to dominate the world, well, at least yet, but to make it smarter, more connected, and less of a hot mess. Thanks to them, deploying LoRaWAN doesn't require selling your house or bribing a tech giant. It is accessible, affordable, and delightfully unpretentious. Meanwhile, researchers are off in their secret labs uh, or university coffee shops brewing even weirder things. They're optimizing transmission times using AI. They're combining LPWA with satellites. Yes, space sensors. They're playing with quantum sensing, which basically means sending data via spooky physics. Is the scientific equivalent of uh, Harry Potter teaming up with Mr. Spock. Um, all this leads us to one delicious truth. These whispering technologies aren't just about machines talking to machines. They're about people. People living smarter, farming better, protecting ecosystems, fixing bridges before they collapse, and figuring out where all the raccoons keep coming from. These systems aren't flashy or loud. They are more like the wise side characters in every movie. The one who is quiet, observant, and ends up saying everyone at the end. So, next time you see a lamppost flicker or a trash truck arrive before your bin starts overflowing, Give a silent nod to LoRaWAN and its merry band of data pixies. Their invisible orchestra conducting the grand symphony of our modern world. And while they may whisper, their message is loud and clear. The future is smarter, subtler, and a whole lot more fun than we imagined. Well, stay curious, stay connected, because knowing is winning, and honestly, What's cooler than the forest that can actually talk? Thank you very much for watching.